Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to note down the most important ratios that needs to be learned under the subject Investment and Portfolio Management, also known as IAPM. Again, a very important video for all the TYBMS M5 students appearing for IAPM paper for semester 5. So under technical analysis, we have a topic called as ratio analysis, where we uh, usually get a sum in the exam based on calculating various ratios. Okay, so uh, got a question from many students, what are the different types of ratios that need to be learned? Okay, so I've made a list of all the ratios that has to be learned. So we'll go through one by one. Okay, the most important ratios to be learned. Okay, Chalo. let us go one by one. What are the various ratios? And you know, certain sometimes uh, in a particular ratio, you have uh, sub ratios that need to be found. So all that ratios will be noted down here. Okay, the very first set of ratios may we have current ratio. The formula is current asset upon current liability. Okay, and sometimes they ask you uh, whether it is good or bad. So current ratio, the standard ratio is 2 is to 1, which is a good indicator. If you get current ratio double of current liability, it is a good indicator. Next, quick ratio, formula is quick asset upon quick liability. Remember, quick assets are those assets in which out of current asset, whenever you minus stock and prepaid, whatever remains is quick asset. From current liability, whenever you remove a bank overdraft, whatever is remaining will be quick liability. Quick ratio, the standard form is 1 is to 1 is favorable. The next is gross profit ratio. Formula is gross profit upon net sale into 100. Next is operating profit ratio. Formula is operating profit upon net sales into 100. Okay, so these are the first four uh, ratios, the most important one. I want you all to first note it down and then we'll jump to the next set. Okay, next, uh, we have net profit ratio. So net profit ratio is net profit upon sales into 100. Remember, if you have any ratio related to income statement, it will always be upon sales into 100. Okay, next, now these are the important one, return on investment or return on capital employed, also known as ROCE. The formula is EBIT, that is earning before interest and tax upon total capital employed. That is CA minus uh, uh, capital employed can be your net owners fund plus borrowed fund or to, uh, fixed asset plus current asset. Okay, plus investment less current liability. So your total capital employed into 100. Next is return on equity. The formula is net profit after tax upon equity capital plus reserve into 100. Next proprietary ratio that is total equity upon total asset. Okay, so these are the next four uh, ratios, very important one, note it down once and then we go ahead. Okay, next set, debt to equity ratio, the formula is debt upon equity. Next, interest coverage that is EBIT upon interest. Okay, next is uh, inventory turnover ratio formula is COGS that is cost of goods sold upon average inventory. Okay, the twelfth one total asset turnover ratio which is net asset sorry net sales upon total assets. Okay, these are the next four uh, ratios which are. Now see, uh, interest coverage is not that important, uh, debt to equity is very important, total asset turnover is also not that uh, important, inventory turnover is an important ratio, so from here 10th and 11th are very important ratios. Okay, next. Uh, we have debtors turnover ratio which is credit sales upon average debtors plus average bill receivable. Average debtors which is opening debtors plus closing debtors divided by 2. So this average debtors you get it with the formula opening debtors plus closing debtors divided by 2. Average bill receivable is nothing but opening bill receivable plus closing bill receivable divided by 2. Okay. 
Next is debt uh, collection period. That is debtors upon credit sale into three hundred and sixty. You all can note down these. Okay, next is net worth turnover ratio. That is profit after tax upon net worth. Net worth is nothing but equity share capital plus reserve and surplus. Net working capital turnover ratio is net sales upon average working capital. Average working capital is nothing but working capital at the beginning plus working capital at the end divided by two. Okay, now these are not that important ratio, but these are a part of their syllabus. Okay, you can just go through it once, but not that important ratios. Okay. Next, earning per share the most important ratio. Net profit after tax minus preference dividend upon number of uh, outstanding shares or number of you know equity shares that we have. Next is price earning ratio that is market price of the share upon earning per share. Dividend payout is dividend per share upon earning per share into hundred. Dividend yield is dividend per share upon market price per share into hundred. And dividend per share is nothing but uh, suppose now sometimes they give you in percentage form it will always be on face value. Okay. Next, the uh, capital gearing ratio again a very important one. Preferential capital plus debenture plus long term borrowing divided by equity fund. Adjustment number twenty two is uh, I mean the ratio number twenty two is book value per share is equity capital plus reserve upon number of equity shares, and preference dividend coverage ratio is net profit after tax upon preference dividend. Okay. Again, these are not that great important, but they were in the syllabus. So you didn't. You just need to go through it once, but it's not actually required for the sum's point of view. Last, equity dividend coverage ratio. That is net profit after tax minus preference dividend upon equity dividend. Dividend coverage ratio is earning per share upon dividend per share. Number of shares ka formula. None. This the last A and B is very important. Number of shares is nothing but equity share capital divided by face value, and preference dividend is preference share capital into the percentage of the preference share. Okay. so these were uh, basically the various types of ratios uh, which you all need to cover up okay so the ones which i have told you all is very important you need to note down the ones which i have told you is not that important you all can just go through it once and then let go it like for example in this one 24th and 25th ones are not that important but a and b the ones are the most important ones also because in each and every uh, sum may you will have you know somewhere or the uh, to find number of shares or you need to find the preference dividend and stuff okay चलो आई होप एवरी वन हैव नोटेड ऑन ऑल दो रेशियोज चलो विद दैट वी विल बी एंडिंग दिस वीडियो यूर थैंक यू